Our top story this morning. South Korea says North Korea should take last week's UN resolution condemning its human rights violations very seriously, saying there will be consequences for Pyongyang if it carries out its latest series of threats. Our Ji Myung Gil starts us off. South Korea has condemned North Korea for threatening to retaliate against a recent UN resolution under North human rights violations, saying that the international community will respond firmly to any provocations from Pyongyang. Seoul's foreign ministry said in a statement on Sunday that Pyongyang should take the UN resolution seriously. In response to the North's threat to conduct another nuclear test, South Korea said that in doing so, Pyongyang would only increase its isolation from the international community. Seoul's comments follow a statement from the North National Defense Commission released earlier Sunday via the Korean News Central Agency, calling the UN resolution a U.S.-led attempt to encroach on the North's sovereignty. The commission, North Korea's most powerful military body, called on U.S. President Barack Obama to apologize for favoring passage of the draft U.N. resolution and called the move a criminal act by Washington. The statement also highlights the North's generosity in freeing two American detainees earlier this month and says that by stirring up the North's human rights issues, the U.S. was being ungrateful. Japan, the European Union and South Korea were also called out for helping the resolution to pass. But Pyongyang thanked China and Russia for voting against the resolution. The KCNA also reported Sunday that North Korean leader Kim Jong-un guided a joint military drill and called for army units to reinforce their operational command. Kim also called for frequent joint military exercises to bolster the regime's war deterrent capabilities. The leader's actions follow threats made by the North on Thursday when it vowed to strengthen its war deterrence against what it deems hostile powers. Pyongyang withdrew from the Treaty on the Non-Proliferation of Nuclear Weapons in 2003. Jim Young-gil, Arirang News.